Hey guys, what's going on? It's me, Will Patterson. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you how to create this amazing, minimal, modern logo design all within the iPad using Adobe Illustrator on the iPad and the Shape Builder tool. Many of you don't know about the Shape Builder tool and how it works, and I think using it on the iPad is a game changer. It means that designers now are one step closer to having the whole workstation on a tablet like this. You may notice something different as well, this desk. It is another sit-stand desk. I am completely obsessed with them. This one is from FlexiSpot, who kindly gifted me another sit-stand desk to show you guys. It's amazing, it's even bigger than before. It's white, and it's not gonna currently live here. It's actually gonna live in our new set, which is over there. More about that later. FlexiSpot have a Black Friday sale. Stick around to learn more about that. Without further ado, let's get straight in to the iPad. First of all, I'm going to start off in Procreate. Procreate's a great program for just general drawing, like so. I'm going to use a brush where every time I make a stroke, this sort of brush follows my stroke. And you can find that over in your brush settings. Where it goes to rotation, we go to follow stroke, which gives us this nice follow stroke here. So what I'm going to do is make this really simple, and you've seen this before, it can be quite cliche, but it's a really good exercise for drawing out a design. I'm going to draw up like so, come down, draw up again, and I don't want it to be like extra perfect, I don't want to spend too much time, but I do want to get a good reference for this. So I'm just backspacing, and I'm trying to stay as even as possible, it's quite difficult to do. And I'm just going to keep doing this, and basically, it takes trial and error to do something like this, to create curves that work well. But what we're trying to do is we don't want to create lines like this where it's like an oval. We want to create like a perfect circular line inside here. I'm looking more at the negative space. I kind of like this. Maybe what I'll do though is I'm going to transform this a little bit and bring it out. Obviously it's not perfect, but that is absolutely fine. What I'm then gonna do is I'm just gonna screenshot. This is the easiest way of getting the reference image. I'm just gonna crop it down to where I need it like so. Now we're gonna go to a new document here inside of my Illustrator on iPad. And I'm gonna bring in an image just from the photos pack here. What I'm going to do is I'm gonna select this and I'm just gonna change the opacity down like so, just so we can see it as a reference, and then press lock. This means that whenever I select it, it's not gonna select this shape. Now the great thing about Adobe Illustrator on the iPad means that we can actually design any logo that we really want. There's nothing stopping us creating amazing things anymore. So what I'm gonna do is create a fully geometric logo using the Shape Builder tool. We also have guides now and rulers. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring up my rulers from the preference here. I'm gonna start gridding in some reference rulers and what this does is it keeps everything completely vertical or horizontal for me obviously you see here if i put the ruler here it is we're doing okay but it's obviously not exactly vertical the next step is to start making the shapes now just like an illustrator on the desktop we can actually use the shape builder tool which is a great tool for anyone who does logo design or precision for instance here there's a few ways we could go around creating this logo we could use the pen tool and we could sort of go around you know create a nice stroke here go up kind of like this and then change the weight of the stroke if we really wanted to but I don't particularly like that it's an even better method although it is slightly more complicated in this method we're going to keep the stroke alive just there and we're going to go to the square tool I'm just going to bring out a square like so and I want it in outline mode for now now we're going to continuously use this square here all the way over and we're going to do this quite easily i'm going to go ahead and duplicate this and hold this button here which is going to constrain it then i'm going to duplicate both of these and try and match them up perfectly and again duplicate this now the reason why we're duplicating them is because in logo design and in design in general these should be the same thicknesses and the negative space the space in between should be the same as well now what i'm going to do is i'm just going to start scaling them all the way from this one here we're going to scale this down to about here obviously the lines these squares that we've done or these rectangles are perfectly vertical so they're not going to match up perfectly but this is part of the process. So now we have like the actual lines. How do we create these connections here? Well, if you look at these shapes, they are circles. So we'll go to the circle tool by holding here, go to the circle tool. We're gonna to bring out an ellipse and I'm gonna hold this to constrain it. Go back to my selection tool and we're gonna try and get it perfectly within these two lines. 
keep holding the constraint tool. We're gonna match these lines up. What we're looking for is the extremes of the curves to snap to the points here on these rectangles. It's very important that you do that, otherwise this effect won't work. What I'm then gonna do is select this and we're gonna duplicate it. We're gonna scale it down like so until we get just the right amount here. And we want these, again, these lines to intersect these ones here. Now what you can see we're doing is we're using the shape builder tool or these shapes to build the foundation of this shape that's going on here. So all we need to do now is select these and duplicate this down and match them again. It's very important now to actually go ahead and manipulate some of these shapes so they fit to the circles. Otherwise this effect will not work as well. What this does is it creates the thicknesses and the connections there. Obviously this is not the real deal here, as you can tell. What we need to do is delete some of the shapes and then merge some of the shapes together. Now, Illustrator on the iPad is super powerful. So what we can do is select all of this, duplicate them and group them together. And the reason why I'm doing that is because I don't want to lose that. I might want to come back and do it again. I don't want to wreck anything. Sometimes it's just easier starting again. So now what we're going to do is select everything on here. And I'm going to go to this Pathfinder option here. This is the combined shapes tool and we've got pathfinder here but we've also got this thing called the shape builder tool what this means now is that all the items that are selected i can swipe away and swipe in to create shapes you can see there that we've just created the shape here very easily by just swiping it just intelligently knows obviously we've got little po points like this that we can fix later on in the process but generally this is very quick all i'm doing is from the outside in i'm just swiping and then i'm just merging this merges the shapes together and this is a great exercise to learn how the shape builder works and how powerful it is because if you think about it all great logos especially minimalistic or geometric ones are specifically geometric and all we've used here are rectangles and circles one final check and there we go we have got our logo there. What I'm going to do is this reference image I'm going to get rid of. And with this logo, I'm going to select it and press this button, which is going to go ahead and change it to a real shape like so. If we look at the lines in the node tool, you can see that all the vector lines are perfectly placed there. There's a few other ones here that we could change, but specifically it looks okay. What I'm going to do is change it to a nice purple. That's looking pretty, pretty good and very consistent all the way through. So that is how you create a very minimalistic logo design inside of Adobe Illustrator on the iPad. It's so powerful, it's just like the desktop. If you have an iPad and you have the Adobe Creative Cloud Suite, you'll be able to create amazing things like this. Again, I just want to thank FlexiSpot for giving me this desk. It is the EG1 in white. It is bigger than my last desk and it's a sit-stand watch. It's available on Amazon and they have a Black Friday deal. Here's a little short, very short promo for you to check out. Hope you guys enjoyed that video a lot. It is great fun to do. The iPad is becoming even more powerful than ever before, especially the M1 with Adobe Illustrator, Photoshop, Fresco, so many different creative apps on there. If you did enjoy the video, please press that red subscribe button down below. You only have to do it once and it's completely free. Like, comment, do all that stuff to let me know if you enjoy the video and also share the video if you think it will help someone else. That's how we get to learn about these things, sharing content. Hope you have a good one. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Goodbye.